Okay, this is an update on my simple SEC circuit, and this is the setup I'm using today. Now, on this prototyping board, I have a simple sec there. It consists of two components. There's a four kilovolt trigger transformer and a transistor. That's just it, that's it. Now, the transistor I'm using today is an MPSA06. You can use a BC182 or a 2N2222. They both work quite well. And none of this other stuff on the board are used. Now, my power source today is three volts. There's two 1.5 volt batteries in series. And my current draw is uh, nine and a half milliamps. And I'm lighting up uh, nine LEDs uh, wirelessly, really brightly. Now, the output from the simple sec goes to these two pots here. Now, these are what I'm going to use to build Dr. Stucker's towers with, but they seem to work quite well as uh, standalone transmitters and receivers. So that's how I'm using them today. So this is the output, and this part, these two pots here are part of the wireless circuit now, so there's a nice gap between them. Now, there's a crock lead coming from here, and it's going to the, the, the negative of the last LED in the string. So I've got it back to front today. Usually you'd have the uh, go into the uh, front of the Avrobenco plug from here, but I'm going to the back of the string. And the reason for that is I've added an extra component into the wireless circuit, and that's another uh, four kilovolt trigger transformer, and that's here. Now the positive and negative of that are connected to two trays, one here and one here. And the high voltage part of that feeds into this string here via a uh, 10 microhenry choke into a 22 microhenry and then going into the Avramenko plug and then into the string and that completes the wireless circuit. And this uh, setup is running on very low uh, voltage and very low current. So this is why I'm showing that. And I think this trigger transformer is acting a bit like Dr. Stifler's coil on his tower and amplifying the effect. So it's definitely improving something. Now, the other thing I want to show you is how I control the amp draw. Now I do that uh, via this pot here and that's connected via a crock lead to the base and this is the whole key to this setup really because this is receiving the signal from the output here which is triggering the transistor now if i move that closer to the output the amp draw goes up and if i move it further away it goes down so that's how you can control the amp draw and the other thing I want to show you is actually how I start this up. Now, this other pot here is connected via a 100 ohm uh, resistor to the positive rail. And it's what I do is, I'll just switch the thing off and then I can start it for you. To start it is all I do is move that tray and touch that one and it starts it up. That's as simple as that. Okay, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.